Uh, so I am in my Linux machine. So in this demo, I will show you how you can create a virtual environment if you are running a Linux based operating system, no matter if you are, no matter what, if you are using Debian, like Kali Linux, so going to Parrot operating system or so in this video, I am going to use my Ars Linux. So make sure that you have Python installed. So you can type the Python. So it will bring you to a shell. So if it doesn't, please you can install it. You can install it from the web. So let's exit out from that. And now we, we are going to create first a virtual environment. Then we are going to activate it. And then we are going to import some packages. And uh, and then we are going to deactivate that. So this is going to be the structure of this video. So now let's create a virtual environment. So for that you can type python hyphen m v e n v for the virtual environment with the name followed by the name you want to give. So I want to give it like project one. So I will create a two virtual environment. One with different package and second with the different pack same package of different version. So now when we list out the directories here you can see that there is a directory being made pro with the name project1 uh, let me show you what inside that so again list out the content so there are directories some fi some files and executables Bas basically so you can see that there are some cells executables path to the interpreter and and some information about the virtual environment virtual environment that you are running so this is the configuration file here you can read out the contents of that so this is the configuration file for your virtual environment we don't have to go so deep into that so let us go back to our directory one back and now we are going to activate our virtual environment so to do that the command you can type is source followed by the part to the project name that you made just so in my case like home username and my project name I created like project1 and followed by the bin directory here and after that activate so you can click the tab option to auto complete that for you and hit enter so you can see that I am inside a virtual environment here the name of my project uh, in, within the open back brackets so now let install some packages of different of different versions so it will be more clear to you so first I will install package of request latest version so I will install the latest version of the request and one pandas older version so let me google that install some packages of different version so that we can see how easy it is to manage them so first of all in this project I will install the older version of Panda and then in the second one I will install the newer the latest release of the Panda package so for that I will type as the pip install pandas double equal to command and the older package like 2.0.0 and hit enter so it will download the older version of the package so now that it is installed and I have already installed the request so now let's make a script that will give ok let me make a script so vim info.py so in this in this python script we will just import the packages and simply just get a response from the server so res res equals to request dot get we are using get function here to 
get the status code google.com and we have to just print out the response and in second one I will import the pandas package and spd that will be easier for us and just print out the version for that pd dot double underscore sorry not in the bracket the columns okay so this is a simple nothing hard so now we are going to run that check check it out if okay so it is working fine you can see that we have got a response of 200 and the it it just gives the version of a version of the package so now if you are working on the in the virtual environment and now you want to share it with the others so others may not have the same version package dependencies required in their system so what they can do you can do you can create a txt file often you can see so you have seen as requirement.txt so in that you can type you can fill the version required for running this so you can type please come free please, please so it will get the version all the packages that are running inside the virtual environment with their version and we will pipe that out to our requirements dot txt file so it is created you can see so let read the contents of that what is there sorry so you can see that these all are the packages in the virtual machine with their with their version info so now let's it let's exit out of that so to get out of the virtual environment you have to type deactivate command so that will bring us to our machine normal level so now you can see that we have gathered the requirement.txt file so now if suppose other person wants to done make some pro add something to your project so he wants to have the same packages that that are working for your project so now what we are going to do if we are going to make a, another virtual environment that so from there we will install all the packages that are running in the package so now we are going to see how other person can can work with your project so suppose you have created you have add something to your project and then you create a requirement.txt like i am running this packages you can you can install that so let's uh, let us create another package another virtual environment to create that for python hyphen f virtual environment and the name so here in the case project 2 So now simply we will activate our second virtual in virtual environment that we have just created source path path on X and the project to bin activate. So now we are inside our second virtual environment project two and we have in front of us our requirement.txt so now you can just simply type pip install requirement.txt okay so we have to add r tag pip install hyphen r so now it will install all the packages with the same version that are running to the project one and in, inside of this virtual environment hope you understand something thank you